knitters it's wednesday sorry if i seem a little like blah i'm kind of tired afternoon is like the worst time ever um because i just get like really sleepy but uh student teaching has been going really well in the classes um, it's a lot of work obviously but it's been much smoother than last semester and um so but i'm still kind of like tired when i make this video when i make these videos so i'm sorry if i seem a little like rambly or weird i've actually tried to film this like three times and i'm like i don't even know what i'm talking about so let's try this again okay so i'm going to talk about crocheting first which is i've done a little tiny bit of this pineapple lace crochet thing that's going to be a shaw it doesn't look like much now it looks like a pot holder <laughs> um and I had to, the actual pattern that I had was just completely unhelpful and I had to like look up just how to make pineapple lace in like a one page directions and that's what I made this out of and I'm pretty sure I figured out how to like expand upon it and make more so I'm probably not going to follow the pattern at all, I'm probably just going to wing it because that's what I do. I don't like patterns um, and when you're as awesome as me you don't need to follow what somebody else says, you just, you just do what you do. Um, no, but let's be real, like, I just, with crocheting, a lot of times when I'm crocheting, I'm watching TV, and so I don't like to have to, like, pause the TV show to, like, look at my pattern and then figure out what I'm doing. Like, I just want it to be something that I can do, like, with my hands while I'm watching TV. So, patterns and me don't get along for a lot of reasons, and I've talked about this before, but anyway, I'm pretty sure I figured this out. I don't know how fast I'm going to work on it, because... School, I have a lot of stuff to do, um, but I'm trying to make this for my sister's birthday, which is like a month from yesterday, so I better get on it because this doesn't look like a shaw. Okay, so speaking of crocheting while you watch TV, I'm going to talk about the theme, which is to review something or talk about something you're into or something like that. I can't even remember and I came up with a theme. Um, but my most recent um, show that I've really gotten into is Skins, the UK version. It's on Hulu, like six seasons of it. Um, and, well, it's on Hulu Plus, I don't know if it's on regular Hulu. It's very inappropriate for children, I'll just say that. There's lots of dirty language and sex and drugs. Um, it's a drama, so it's really serious and it gives you a lot of feels, but the characters are just really well written and just extremely interesting and you just want to know more about them. They're very intriguing. And, um, so I've watched the first two seasons. I actually just finished the second season, like, a couple of days ago. Um, I'm a little bit afraid to watch the next season because they're introducing a lot of new characters. Um, so I'm a little worried about how that, you know, like I've become attached to these other characters and now I have to get used to new ones. But the first two seasons were enjoyable if you like, you know, feeling emotional about stuff. So um, I definitely recommend it. I know there's an American version, but from all I've heard, the American version sucks, just like all American versions of British TV shows. So yeah. British TV for the win. Alright, I think I've done pretty well as far as not rambling in this take, so I guess I'll talk about everyone's videos before I go. Jenny, you are so far away, it makes me sad, but it also makes me happy because you're in Ireland, and that's so awesome, and I'm, I'm hoping that you're having a great time, and I can't wait to see more about your adventures. Amber, I know you talked about this in your video, but it wasn't on this channel, but you guys should go watch the video about Amber's yarn stash because it is ridiculous. Like, I was just like, holy crap, like, amazed at how huge it is. And in her comments, or in the, one of my comment spams or something, she said it was like a 10-year collection, so, you know, like, of course it's going to be big. And I'm sure my yarn stash would be a lot bigger if I wasn't, like, a broke college student, and I'm sure it will continue to grow. Um... But yeah, your yarn stash, I, I like want to like bow down to it. It's just like hugely amazing. Michael, I'm sorry, I'm totally drawing a blank I, on what you talked about in your video. I think you showed off some crocheting that you finished or something. Did you ever finish that giraffe that looked highly inappropriate when I was in Colorado? Did you show that off on this channel? Was it a giraffe? I don't even remember. I'm having serious memory issues at the moment. Okay. And Miira has a bucket of Uggs, as Jenny called them. I don't have a bucket of Uggs. I don't really have a whole lot of, like, older projects. I think... I don't even know if I still have the very first thing I crocheted. I might. It's probably somewhere, like, in the basement, because when I moved to college, I, like, I know there's, like, a couple of boxes of stuff that I didn't take with me, and so I haven't seen that stuff in, like, six years or something. 
I think it'd be interesting to have like the evolution of your knitting over or, or crocheting over time, like just to see like how far you've come and how your tastes have changed and stuff. So that's cool. Okay, now I'm rambling, so I'm gonna go. That everyone is having an awesome hump day, and I will see Michael tomorrow. Bye. And stuff. That's what she said.